Hi, so it's been a long time since I've done a video, um, a few things have happened, uh, I'm a single now, yeah me and uh, the wife we, uh, we sort of fell out, um, but let's not dwell on that, so I'm back with a bang, um, I basically, vinyl is kind of my, my thing at the moment, um, and I want to show you some of the things I've picked up and combine it with a um, album tour. So I will show you what albums I've got. Um, I won't talk too much about them because uh, that could take a while. I mean, some of the things I bought over the weekend are there. So um, we, can, um, we can talk about that. So. So today, the first thing I bought was this um, Visage album, The Anvil, that's 50p. And a couple of, I've got a couple of soft sell singles. I've got the uh, single for Tainted Love, that was 20p. I got a uh, Roxy Music uh, Avalon album, 50p. And I've got a few soft sell singles. First, I got um, Torch, 20p. And I also got Say Hello, Wave Goodbye, 20p. Um, and I got a Human League album, and that is Travel Log, 20p. Very good. Um, Couple more soft sell. I got the single for. Oh no, this is the. This is the album. The album Non Stop Erotic Cabaret. Fifty p. And then soft sell single for Bed Sitter. Twenty p. So that's what I got from the car boot. Oh, I did get one more single as well. If I can find it, it's House Martins. So, um, it's in here somewhere. I'll do that when I do my singles, um, 45s and 7 inches and what have you collection. That won't be yet though. That'll be some point. Um, stuff I got yesterday. So I got Frank Zappa, Hot Rats. It cost me £10 from the uh, Norwich Record Fair, which I thought was quite good for a tenor. That's quite a good album. I got quite a few Devo albums, um, I've got the live one, Devo live, oh no it's Devo, and then you've got We Are Not Men, We Are Devo, um, so the £10, 5 and 5 so not bad at all. Uh, from the record fair, Square Pushers, uh, My Red Hot Car, which is on Warp Records. I think I paid a pound for that, so that was pretty good. A bit more Devo. Um, that album. I think it was called. It's not actually say. What does it say on the sleeve? Oh, yes, Traditionalists. That was a fiver. Um, Couple of singles I got in Norwich as well. This was from uh, Beatniks. Some of the stuff was from Beatniks. Some of the beat stuff was from um, some other record shops. Yeah, two ninety five for a tricky single of Black Steel, and then also from Beatniks is a Can album, which is a nineteen eighty album called Incandescence. Good title. That was a tenor. Uh, I got a Fad Gadget album of Under the Flag, seven quid. Um, I originally went to Norwich for the um, record store day, but when I got there, there wasn't really anything I wanted. I wanted the Cure mixed up, and I wanted the Cypress Hill one, but that weren't there. So um, I did buy something from. Uh, the record shop, Sound Clash is called. I got this 
it's DJ Shadow, and that's introducing, yeah, it's not an original, but still good for 20 quid. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, another one I got from Beatniks was Crystal Castle's third album, just called Free, nine ninety five. Not bad. This is a band I've recently discovered. Absolutely love them. They're an Australian band called Split Ends. They're uh, basically before cr uh, Crowded House, but they're so much cooler. And uh, I've got. That album, that was six pounds. I got a nineties uh, album. Well, I'd say nineties. It's two thousand and one, so it's nearly night. You know, yeah. and the album's called My Vitral, and that's fine lines. That was a pound. Now this is my find of the day. This is. Um, I did take a, in a few vinyls to. Uh, Sort of sweeten the deal on this, um, but he had the original Prodigy music for the Jilted Generation T two vinyl 1994 first pressing. He wanted 50 quid on it, and I was like, I can't afford 50 quid. And he went down to 30, and I was like, Oh, all right, so I took that, I had to, so I swapped a few things and paid a bit of cash. so but yeah, I, I own a first pressing of that album, which is probably my favourite Prodigy album. Okay, so some of the stuff I might show you might have been hauls that I've not done yet. But I will go through my collection and I will, uh, yeah, show you what I've got. <laughs> I've got Cam's Limited Edition. DJ Shadow, Primitive, Primitive Strike, Air, Moon Safari, Tubes, uh, I think that's just called Tubes, yeah, just called the Tubes, A bit of cheese, who will listen in the news for? Uh, best of Beach Boys. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, the Flying Pickets. It's like a. They don't really. Uh, there's no beats or nothing. It's just like. It's cool. Very cool. They do a lot of like uh, covers. They do Psycho Killer by Talking Heads. Uh, Tears of a Clown. Heard it through the Great Vine. So that's a cool album, man. That was good. I've got a couple of wedding present albums. I've got uh, Bizarro and 1987. I've got a wedding present. I've got a couple of the, their albums. So I've got Infected. That artwork's rad, isn't it? And then I've got the art Mind Bomb as well. Another Tubes album. That one's called Remote Control. I actually paid three pounds for that. That was a bargain. Uh, something I discovered on BBC Radio Six. They're called Cavern of Antimatter, and the album's called Hormone Lemonade, and that is oh, such a sick album. Uh, the Avalanches, Wildflower. Roiksop Melody AM. We've got uh, Prefab Sprout protest songs. One of my favourite albums ever. Captain Beefheart and the Magic Band. That's unconditionally guaranteed. Another Sprout album. Uh, Steve McQueen. This one I picked up in Skegness, um, ASAP Rocky basically sort of produced it. It's not a rap, it's like an acoustic, it's called, it's called Joe Fox, it's really good. 
one of my favourite live albums, Porter's Head, uh, New York City Live. One of my favourite bands ever, B-52s. I don't know if this is a bootleg or nothing, but it's like a live album, but it's like, it's got like, um, coloured vinyl. It's quite cool. So, I will show you some coloured vinyl I've got. I've got a few. I've got a lot, but I've got some good ones. More B-52s. Original pressings, obviously. That's the B-52, so that's, uh, Just the B-52s, Planet Claire, and Mos Topmia. Oh, I know what it's called, I'm very worried on that one. That's pretty good. And this is my Psychedelic Furs collection. So I've got Forever Now. That, that colour, that cover's quality. I've got uh, Midnight to Midnight. Just the psychedelic fairs. And then mirror moves. I've got They Might Be Giants, uh, Flood, good album. Oh, that way. Uh, Flock of Seagulls, uh, Listen, really, really good. Uh, obviously a repress of Nevermind. Picked that up for like 8.99 out of HMV with my, with my bonus card, so that was good. Just this uh, this compilation. It's um, all Beatles songs off Sgt. Pepper. But they're all done by like Free Men Wise, Wet Wet Wet, The Christians, Wedding Present, Hue and Cry, Billy Bragg. And then Frank side bottom, and then on the side two you got Sonic Youth singing with with you or without you, Courtney Pine Quartet, Michelle Shocked, The Triffids, and again Three Wise Men and Fall. I thought that was quite cool. That's like a, a child line, so cool. Uh, more Nirvana stuff, obviously not original. Another repress of Unplugged in New York. Sounds good still. Ghost in the Machine by the Police. 10cc uh, original soundtrack. It's like a gatefold one. It's quite nice. Classic Michael Jackson off the wall. Not very prepared for this, sorry. Uh, Janet Jackson's Control. I've got some reggae albums, they're always good to find, like sort of compilations. I've got Reggae Chart Buster 75, Original Reggae Greats, and then some Magic Reggae, and then another one, Original Reggae Greats Volume 2. I've got this solid soul album. The reason I bought it was for Barefooting by Robert Parker and a few other bits and bobs, but that was the main reason. One of my favourite albums when I was a kid. I managed to find another copy of this. I've got I've got a copy that my dad gave me, but this is my one that I found in a charity shop for 50p, but so it's still got the 3 99 sticker on it. Look. Brilliant album. Just reminds me of being young. I've got some more split ends. Um, the album called Time Tide. That's really good. And that has got Six Months on a Leaky Boat on it. And that is like one of my favourite songs by them. It's just very cool. There's a band I discovered whilst just sort of sifting through um, crates in the record shop. It's a band called um, Carnival Art. And they're a sort of a grungy. They're cool. But they've got some nice artwork. It's like very 90s, very cool. I think I paid like a fiver for that, so it's pretty good. I like discovering new bands. There's a classic EP I found. It's uh, L7's uh, Smell the Magic. 
Obviously it's got shove on it. Fast and frightening, right on through. Death wish, till the wheels fall off and broomstick. Let's cut one. Yeah, I, I know it's cheesy, but you know what? Vanilla Ice, he was he was cool in his day, so to find this on vinyl for a quid. Can't really go wrong. Obviously it's got Ice Ice Baby on it and hooked and stop that train because your mum would want to get off. <laughs> A band I recently discovered a couple of years back, King. Bit of sweet. Something I purchased off Amazon. Uh, it was cheap. Again, gatefold. Lovely picture of golf wrap. You get a poster and everything with it. It's quite nice. Quite a nice addition, actually. A bit of sleeve. But yeah, it's a nice one. It's a very nice album, actually. It's very chilled out. I do like Gold Frank. Got a lot of their CDs, but not very much from all of theirs. But if I can find some of their vinyl, I'll, uh, I'll grab that. Oh, one of my favourite soundtracks of, like, ever. Drive. Now, the vinyl for these are just... They're just gorgeous. They are so nice. And look at that. Is that not nice or what? And that's a double one as well. It's obviously got the score on it and it's got the tracks from the film. I do love that film. Nicholas Reffin. Oh yeah, a very good director. But I won't talk about films because this is not a film one. This is the soundtrack. It's got Nightcall on it. And Under Your Spell. A Real Hero. Very cool. That's a gatefold as well. More like from the film pictures. Banda. Never heard of them until I found it. I thought the artwork was rad. And then I found out they're on the same label as the Smiths. Um, they're a French band called Cat Passion Fodder. It's a bit, sound a bit like The Fall. Really good. Really good. Something I've had in my collection for years is uh, the original Cassius 1999. I mean, this is this is going back. It actually did come out in 1999 as well. That's a gatefold sleeve and a double double vinyl. That's a nice one. Um, bit bit dance music. Uh, no Carl, they're called a sort of techno y kind of thing. Now I've got this soundtrack, uh, New Model Army is on it, and like Crazy Head, and World Weekend, and loads of weird stuff. So that's a good one. I don't want my vinyl to fall over. <laughs> anyway, we won't, we, won't, we won't look at these, these are a bit embarrassing. Uh, Billy Connolly and the Nursery Rhymes vinyl. Yeah. Here's some my dad gave me, because he's awesome. He gave me an original Led Zeppelin. Uh, first one with the obviously all the pictures and whatnot. Very nice that one. Uh, something I bought myself from charity shop, which is uh, Beach Boys Live in London. Very cool album. I love Beach Boys. They're just they're just cool, aren't they? You know. So else I found in a charity shop, which is not what I thought it would be. I thought it'd be quite sort of psychedelic and proggy and stuff but it, it yeah it didn't really the only band I know on Earth China Dragon I don't know anyone else you know it's like uh, what do you do some more my dad gave me and a Cat Stevens one the world of Cat Stevens uh, you got a bit of Huck in your collection and this is probably my, my favourite of his albums that ginger hair that oh love it Probably my favourite uh, trip hop album ever is Dummy by Porter's Head. It's just phenomenal. Absolutely brilliant. I swear the songs just get better every time I hear it. You got Mr. On, Sour Times, Strangers, It Could Be Sweet, Wandering Star, and on the second side is Numb, Roads, which is my favourite, Pedestal, Biscuit, and Glory Box. Everyone should have a copy of that. In 
no collection. And uh, something my dad gave me, I, I don't really know too much about her. Her name's Joan Armas Trading, but uh, I don't know her. Um, very, very happy to own this. Love this album. Got it on CD. Didn't ever think I'd be able to get a copy on vinyl. Oh, Interpol Antics. Good album. A um, bit more stuff from the dad gimme. Uh, you got Best of Cream. It's quite good. Obviously Eric Lampton. My vinyl's going everywhere. It's just trying to find it so I'm not moving. This compilation my old man gave me, which is really good. It's got like stones on it and the small faces and Blondie and oh, it's brilliant. 10cc. Stranglers, yeah, my dad was cool. A bit more stuff my dad gave me. A couple of Wishbone Ash albums. So you got uh, there's a rub and Wishbone 4, Wishbone Ash. I'm not really listening to them much, I might give them a listen one day. Something I picked up from Amazon Prime. This was very cheap, it was like seven pounds for Nirvana's uh, greatest hits kind of thing. Got like you know what I'm, you know you're right. That was like an unreleased song. It was only for this. Uh, About a girl, being a son, silver, sliver, sliver. Oh, sorry about that, sliver. Smells like Teen Spirit. Come as you are, lithium. And then side two is like In Bloom, Heart Shaped Box, Penny Royalty, Rape Me, Dumb, All Apologies, and The Man Who Sold The World. And obviously they took off Unplugged. Right, the Man Who Sold The World. Another one my dad gave me, Led Zeppelin 2. Classic rock. A couple more, uh, Cat, another Cat Stevens one. It's uh, Back To Earth. That's not an album, that's a single. Very cool Jeff Rotel album from. God, when did this come out? 70, 73. But yeah, it still comes with a booklet. Look at that. A poster. Is that cool or what? I just think originals are so much nicer than represses. Unless it's something I can't afford or find. I have that on repress, but I'm all about originals. Uh, a bit of 90s uh, Terence Trent Derby. It's a good album. Introducing the Hardline according to Terence Trent Derby. Obviously, it's got Wishing Well on it. Probably his best song he's ever done. Probably his only song everyone who knows. A bit more Cat Stevens. Uh, Wildwood. Brilliant song. Father and Sons on it as well. I mean, that's just that's brilliant. That is, and to have it on original vinyl, good stuff. Now, this is a band I recently uh, found whilst hunting through the vinyl in the record shop in Kings Lynn. Um, I just didn't know what to make out of that cover. Some dude copping a feel in the cinema. But I actually found this band really, really awesome. They're they're called Grupo Sportivo, and they're they make, they take they take everyone's music and like make it their own, and they're just so damn cool. They do like oh, they don't do covers on nothing; they just do their own stuff. This is a good one because you can actually change the the way the vinyl goes in, so you can have a different picture. It's really cool. So we got. Uh, Pop Goes the Brain, the album called Ten Mistakes, Grupo Sportivo's Back to 78, and then Grupo Sportivo's Copy Copy. So yeah, they're really good. Uh, Complete Madness, something I was given. An original Bowie, Let's Dance. Still in the rapper. Bit of pop music. I like Ellie Golden, I think she's good. And the song Lights is just amazing. It's on the end of Spring Breakers. Uh, a couple of, well, Charity Shop. No, Car Boot Fine, this was. There's uh, Michael Jackson's 25 Thriller. It's, uh, it's got the whole of Thriller on it, but it's got some extra songs with some rappers on it. That was a quid. 
bargain. The soundtrack for Baby Driver, obviously, so much good stuff on that. It's like every kind of music you can think of. Just uh, I haven't got a case for this, but it's Style Council uh, trait. Uh, XTC, drums and wires, talking heads, stop making sense, that's a live album, another talking heads, little creatures, another talking heads, stranglers, no more heroes, squeeze, singles, really cool. Beck, and that's um, Colour Vinyl, that's Beck, Beck's album called Colours, Queen, It's a Kind of Magic, uh, Landscape, Ma Manhattan Boogie Woogie, Original Smashing Pumpkins, Oceana, uh, I haven't got any other other stuff because it's really hard to find any suspenders. Uh, Morrissey, spent, uh, not spent a damn bit, that's the name of the single, but yeah, it's clear vinyl. And that's, um, there's different colours for different countries, but I only have the clear one. I'd like to find the others, but that's Axie Anarchy. Original Viva Hay, Morrissey. And there's some repressed Smiths. Strangers here we come. Sorry, strange ways here we come. The Queen is dead. It's quite nice, sort of gatefold. And then one of my favourite ones. Hateful of Hollow. Um original first person of the cure. All mixed up. I know this went into record store day, but I have the original, which is not a picture disc. It's a double vinyl, very nice. That was a tenner on the shop in Wisbeach. Uh, Johnny Cash's 20 foot tapping grates. Uh, 24 karat gold deep purple. Another police album. Uh, it's an author, Mondata. Love this band, Scritty Politty. Pro provision. Uh, Ian Jerry and the Blockheads, Black, Wonderful Life, and there's my original copy of the Muppets. It's a bit battered, but I've got another copy. Uh, status Quo on a level, it's my dad's, don't really like Status Quo too much. Mike Oldfield, The Complete, it's very cool. Someone my dad told me about this guy called Roderick Falconer. I'm guessing he's German. <laughs> Another Wishbone Ash album. That's New England. I think that cover's cool. Uh, Bugles. Age of Plastic. Portrait by the Loving Spoonful. Really cool band. So there's some Sleaford Mod stuff now. I've only got three albums of theirs, but I've got um, Acity Dogs, Divide and Exit, and Key Markets. One of my favourite albums of all time, Buzzcocks, and um, that's Singles, Going Steady. Little uh, compilation I bought because it had the only ones and another girl, another planet, which is quite hard to find. But yeah, that's like six quid. Uh, greatest hits of your undertones, teenage kicks, original pavement, wowie zowie. That's been I've had that for years, but that's that's a gatefold and that's original. Uh, metronomy. 08. A bit more te uh, some ten, 10 cc. How dare you? Original. 
uh, El Dorado by Electric Light Orchestra, or ELO, what you want to call them. Uh, original Public Enemy, uh, Image, first issue. This uh, compilation of indie anthems, you've got stuff like Suede, Prodigy, Elastica, Pixies, Primal Scream, so that's quite cool. I'm just an odd band I found called Lunar Twist, they're kind of cool, they're sort of quite moody. Not sure where they're from. Another Cure album, I've got um, Chinese Whispers, original. And the single for the walk by the cure, which is almost an album, it's got like six tracks on it, so that's why I'm putting it in the album a bit. Uh, Steve Miller, the Joker, obviously, singles like Joker. That's the only ones I know, man. This is probably the best in the collection. The original David Bowie, Ziggy Stardust, and the Spiders from Mars. Nah. It's just, oh. my dad gave me this, it's beautiful, that is just, oh my god, such an album. Yeah, given to me by my old man. Uh, I've got the How the Duck soundtrack, it's all done by Thomas Dolby. Uh, Meteors, my album's called Teenage Heart. ELO, Face the Music, original, with the very controversial electric chair. A bit more scritty pilly. Cupid Psych 85. Uh, Run DMC's Raising Hell, very cool. Uh, um, what can you say? She's just phenomenal. Her voice, just, oh my god. So yeah, that's the album, Black to Black, Back to Black. Uh, Michael Jackson's Bad, but I haven't got sleep for it. Herbie Hancock, Sunlight. A uh, limited edition pressing of Chemical Brothers Dig Your Own Hole with the silver vinyl. Very nice. Very cool album. Reminds me of being uh, young. <laughs> A while ago. Okay, so some singles mixed in here for some reason. Okay, we've got MC Hammer. A guy called Dog Killy. Just picked it up randomly. Uh, Salt and Pepper album. Another good album from the Beastie Boys.